Stop copying and pasting your data in Microsoft Excel and do this instead. Let's take a look at how the Microsoft Excel filter function is going to eliminate your need to copy and paste your data. Take a look. Open in front of you, I've got an example file called employee projects-01, and I've made this file available for you to download so you can follow along with me. You'll find a link to this file in the video description just right down below. Make sure you go visit that link, look for the officenoob.com blog post link. You can download it from there. And while you're there, if you enjoyed the video, you learned something new, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we post to this channel each week. So let's jump in and take a look. So on this worksheet, I've got a list of projects, the employees assigned to those projects and their departments. Now my manager has now asked me to give me an allocation of the employees for each of these projects. So here on the right, I've got a list of all of the projects, Atlas, Nova, Orion, Zenith. Now I wanna get a list of the employees associated with each of those projects. Well, in steps the filter function. So here, I'm inside of E2, I'm gonna say equals filter. The first thing it wants to know is the array that I'm gonna filter. Now I'm looking for employees. So I'm gonna grab the employee list or the employee column B2 to B32, I'll hit F4, so I turn that into an absolute reference, get those dollar signs in there. Then I'm gonna do a comma. This will take me into the include argument of the filter function. So now essentially wants me to specify what I'm gonna filter, what do you want to include? Well, in this case, I wanna pick out the specific project. So I'm gonna grab A2 to A32, Hit the F4 key again to get those dollar signs, the absolute reference. And I'm gonna say I want that to be equal to this header right here, Project Atlas. So I'll grab that. Now, before I continue going, I'm gonna make that absolute, but I'm only gonna make the row reference absolute. So I'm gonna F4, throws in a complete absolute. I'll hit F4 again. Now I've got the relative E column, but an absolute row one. This way, when I copy this to the right, the, the column changes, but the row remains the same. And as that gets copied down, row remains inside the row one reference. That's it. I'll close the parentheses, hit my enter key, and there's Project Atlas employees. So in the past, I would jump over, maybe sort the list by project. I would copy out those employees, paste it in here, but no more. Plus it's a filter. So if the list updates, my formula updates as well. Let me copy this over for all of the projects. There we go, there's Project Nova, Orion, and Zenith. You got the employees. No copy paste, use the filter function. Try it out. That's a quick one. Microsoft Excel's filter function. Get rid of the copy paste when you're going through a large list and you wanna start breaking it down use the filter function instead. If you enjoyed this video, you learned something new, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel on Microsoft Excel and other Office applications. I'll see you in the next video.